Got missile lock. Oh shit, missile I'm lock. Run. I'm gonna get out of here. Missile away. No. Oh, oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I almost missed that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am Montoya, shaking my mouse around to make it seem as if I'm speaking. But to my, well, behind me is the new ballista, and you could be winning this ballista. All you gotta do is drop a comment below saying how you like the ballista, and I will do a random drawing on, what's the date? 20th? August the 20th, we will do a random drawing choosing someone to pick well, picking someone to win this ballista. If you enjoy this content, please, guys, give me a thumbs up and drop comments below. With that said, let's go take a look around the new ballista. Oh, it's the boys. Let's hope they don't ram me as I'm making my video. So here we are, starting in the front. Now, it has yellow tinted glass in the cockpit, which uh, makes it look very... It's like sunglasses, I guess. I don't know. From the outside, it's yellow, but from the inside, you don't actually see it. So the vehicle is uh, pretty damn big. It is 16 meters long. It is 7 meters wide and 5 meters high. Max crew of 2. Let's work our way around the back, and let me just get my camera out the way here so you can enjoy looking at it without being distracted by my face, because I know my face is very distracting. So... Beginning right here with the very front and uh, what looks to be deployable support struts. Now, we haven't figured out a way to actually deploy these. I don't think they deploy or if it's in the plan to make them deployable. But uh, it would make for an interesting game mechanic if you would need to deploy them first before you actually fire the large missiles. Or perhaps you get faster missile luck if you do deploy them. I don't know, just an idea. And uh, moving our way through. So here is a very beefy and thick looking shock absorber they always do great jobs on landing gear and for land vehicles i mean they still stick to the tradition of making these areas look very tough and uh as always uh test logos put in there i mean we pay millions of dollars to cig to put our logos in the game <laughs> so this whole section looks very nicely done over there and uh look at the treads on the tires here isn't that beautiful like you can see the dirt embedded in there and just the texture of it it just looks like a very tough tire and uh, they do good actually very good grip you don't slide much well this isn't a very fast vehicle so uh two tires in the, the front two in the back and uh, it's four each side obviously if my math is correct and looking around the top section here i love the design in the window area this is the stock version it has two stripes there's a, a tan and a snow camo uh, hmm, there was some other. And, uh, you know, I didn't see what size guns these are. Are those anti-personnel or anti-air? I think they're size 2s. Correct me if I'm wrong. I will put the correct number overlaid this video when I find out what that is. I should have checked ahead of time. Uh, we'll go inside in a second. Let's just do a walk around. And this is obviously the door controls right over there. Open and close. Moving around the side, another supportive strut. That's a big ass screw over there. The anvil logo, nice. Making way around the back. Look at the texture here. One thing I, I constantly love and always do when uh, I get a new ship is I, I zoom right in all the time. I take a look at the small details because you know the texture artist spent upwards of a month perfecting this exact texture you're looking at right there. So take a moment to appreciate it. <laughs> Brake lights at the back. We'd expect them. But here's the business end of it. Look at those things. All right. Those are two size seven missiles well i guess like torpedo sized right those things are big uh not as big as what you get in the eclipse or size nines but uh, size sevens to be mobile on the ground there's no other vehicle which does that at the moment and you have eight size five missiles that's four on each side of that this thing is evil this thing will knock out almost anything now we did try to take out that hammerhead as you, you will see shortly uh we hadn't managed we had three or four ballistas which we're not able to take out a hammerhead. To the left. Nice. Ikra, what kind of damage are you taking? Uh, now outside, external, I'm uh, 
suffering only visuals. <laughs> Let me see. This. Ooh. That's sweet. Oh, it looks good. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Same story on this side. Only difference is where the door is. We have this panel here. Now, this texture here kind of reminds me of what's on the car too well. I thought that was a sticker, just a, a light a little feature over there. All right. So let's take a look inside and see what it looks like over there. In we go. So this on our right, as you come in, is the gunner. Well, not the gunner. This is the, the missile gunner because there's a turret which is controllable from the front. So, you know, let's jump in. Let's close up the door here. Watch a closing animation. Nice. And uh, let's take a seat in the, the gunner seat. This is where you do control the missiles. So down you go. The panel closes in front of you. And uh, we are powered on. So if I simply go to the external view, I should be controlling that turret. Press F. Uh, enter remote turret. And here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Colossal, can I shoot you 25 million kilometers away? Probably not. I think you're probably out of range. Uh, but this is the business end of it. Now, there is a turret in the front, which is controlled from the driver's seat. Let's go take a look at that. Let's exit. Obviously, being a, a military-type vehicle, you're not going to have a coffee maker or a uh, bathroom anywhere. But uh, let's see, starting on the left over here. Okay, you do have a place to stow your weapon. So if you have a weapon, give me the option to place. Yes, it does. And does it work? Yes, it does. Why is that needed, you say? Well, there's always one moron on your team that comes out with a pistol and nothing else. And he needs a weapon. So now you can put some spare weapons in there and he can grab them. Nice enough. And to uh, stow, I'm going to take it, stick it back on my body. We are good to go. All right, making our way towards the front of the ship. I don't think there's any other panels, any other things you can open beyond that. Danger, do not pull handle. Well, obviously I'm going to try pull the handle now. What happens? We must know what happens. Not going to tell us. All right. And here is the business seat, the driver's seat. In we go. And good looking little cockpit there. Let's power it up. And as you can probably guess, the vehicle drives as a vehicle would. Forward is forward, back is back, left and right. But here's a little trick we just learnt, and that is you can drive the vehicle like this, or if you go into the uh, remote turret where. Oh, I love the sound of that. I hope that's coming through, is it? You can. Drive the vehicle and control the turret at the same time. Isn't that useful? So, I suspect uh, this is mostly for taking out ground uh, anti-personnel. Shoot the floating rock over there. So, there we have it. Um, I wasn't sure about ground vehicles in the game but you know after messing around with it sometime this morning and having four or five ballistas on the ground shooting at uh, targets flying around the sky yeah i've never circled the wagons all right we're gonna start moving out uh, ballistas ready ballista five is ready roger i'm getting a little bit of uh latency issue me too yeah, yeah i can't fire this for some reason fox two out uh my lock is still trying to lock. Oh, 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 there oh, there, there we go, missiles away. How are those ballistics treat you? Ballistics. Oh, yeah, there oh, we go. Oh, <laughs> 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 See what this does. Boom! Oh, <laughs> nice. Got him, got him at a thousand. Still hey, flying. Oh, I know, I know. But it was a nice shot. It was good. It worked well. It, it, How far was I Missile lock. Second one out. 
Boom! Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice one. Nice one. Okay, so after playing around with it for a while and uh, shooting things, I can definitely see the importance and the usefulness of this vehicle. When you are in an organization or even with a small bunch of friends and you have an outpost or you create an outpost on a planet somewhere and you want to defend it, all you do is you station two or three of these around the area and it will totally keep the skies clear and protect you from anything that come without the need of having a pilot in the sky. So it makes sense from a strategy point of view. Now, if you want to win this ballista, which we are giving away, it is, oh, I see it's like damage. All right, that, that's going to buff out. Don't worry about that. We'll clean that before we give it away to you. Uh, all you got to do to win this ballista is make a comment on this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to, if you enjoy this content, and in 30 days from now, from the date of this video, I will do a random drawing, giving away the ballista. You do need to have a Star Citizen account. Now keep in mind, if you do win this, it is a standalone vehicle, meaning you don't get the game package. You won't be able to play the game if you don't have a game package. It's a standalone vehicle. Again, just uh, drop a comment and you could stand to win this slightly used, but very nice and like new <laughs> ballista. Once again, a big thank you to my Patreon backers, uh, without whom this ballista will not be able to give it away. Thank you guys. We appreciate it. And good luck to everyone. I will see you in the next one.